Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Almost everything is more complicated than it seems, but almost nothing is hopeless. Mug it wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 253, NASDAQ off 68, S&P's down 34. Markets, folks, gave back everything that it had yesterday. We got to a higher high, we had lighter volume, gave it up in price. Deviant, no doubt, bottom line, we're going downtown. You get triple witching tomorrow, exp option expiration. You can expect this volatility to continue in spades. Excuse me, folks. Gold contract down $26.50, 1050 They slammed the gold market. Dollar went up 1,300 ticks. Gold, okay. We had expanded volume on the way down. And we're at 1,050, we hit 1,046.50 today. The swing point on gold, folks, 1,045. Now, they're gonna go after that swing point tomorrow. Uh, Friday in the gold market is always a tough one. I expect tomorrow the volatility, man, is gonna be huge. Silver, down 55 cents, $13.69. Platinum, off 30 bucks, 8.43 an ounce. Copper down three pennies at 204 a pound. Light sweet crude, now check it out. Light sweet crude down 71 cents. We're at 34 dollars and 81 cents. Light sweet crude, folks, is going after the swing low of 2009 on a continuous contract. That's 32.40. The way it's set up right now, it actually looks like it's going to go a lot lower than 32.40. They slammed this baby today, and um, looks like it's going a lot lower. Bonds, bonds continue to not only give the most consistent information out, they just will not give it up. So fundamentally, you have the Fed go up on rates. They say they're gonna go up higher the rest of the year. And the bond market this morning was up. Yesterday, it didn't get trashed. And that was the first signal that everything in paradise wasn't exactly just beautiful. Uh, bonds end up finishing up 14 ticks the 10 year at 126.06. 30 year was up a full point in 12 ticks, 155.29. They both won higher price. And inside the bond market, folks, what happens is just it's supply and demand just like all our markets. That being said, the bond market is showing that, guess what? People want to get their money back. That's all this comes down to. King dollar. Now, here's, here's the, the, the deviance also. King dollar up 1,300 ticks at 99.21. Now, King Dollar had the price spread, no doubt. Good price spread. No volume behind the move. Uh, I do expect you're gonna see King Dollar a little bit higher tomorrow, and then I expect you're gonna see it give it up. Euro, Euro down 96, trading at 108, and the yen trading at 122.71. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Wanna know what's going on in y'all world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Okay, so what we have here is this. We got to a higher high today. You got to 208.48 and you gave it up on price. What does that set up? Bottom line, it sets up, you're gonna make a run for the lower end of this, where we're trading in right now, which is 199.95. The S&P, and this is where the deviance also comes in. Now watch as I bring this back a year. We have continued, the, the high in the S&P, you know, we've been at these highs all year long, folks, but the actual high was generated May 20th. That was 213. When you take a look at the S&P, from, from May, we've continued to have lower tops and lower bottoms. Bottom line, that's a downtrend. Now, there's no doubt that, you know, you can make the argument that, hey, we've been at these highs, and we have. You know, but each and every time, you know, particularly since the August downdraft, um, the selling intensifies on the way down. Now, what we'll have here tomorrow is this. Tomorrow you get option expiration. It's triple witching, which throws huge amounts of volume in the marketplace. If we're down tomorrow, which I do expect we will be, and you get the volume heavier, 
there's another confirmation that that's where we're going is downtown. And the X100, the three Qs. Three Qs, higher high, lighter volume, gave it up on price, all of the above. And inside the three Qs, you can blame someone taking a bite out of the good old Apple. Um, Apple only moved $2 down, uh, but bottom line, $2.36. You have volume on the move down. It's broken its weekly swing point now, and it has broken the weekly swing point. We have one day left in trading with volume. Thus far, we've done 218 million shares on Apple. The swing point had 189 million shares. The swing point was 111. So now it doesn't want to head to. Now it's going to head to the next swing low. The next swing low is at 107.31. So bottom line is that a little trouble in paradise here for Apple. The trouble in paradise in Apple gives big problems to the NDX 100 and the S&P. It also gives problems to the, the, the Dow. But uh, the S&P, NASDAQ, big problems, ASAP too, by the way. The bond market, let's go to bonds. So bonds did 940,000 contracts, the 10 year, up 15 ticks. This is going after the highs, man. This is gonna go after the last swing high up here, which was on uh, December 11th. The 30 year bond is right next to its highs, period. It's highs, period. The 30 year, folks, is traded 155 31. The close of the high was 157.10. So you're talking 32, 42, 50. You're talking 51 ticks away from an all-time high inside the 30 year. You know, and you have juice behind this move out here today. King dollar. What do we got with King dollar? Bottom line, King dollar. Um, had the price move out here, no, no doubt about that. Uh, what it didn't have is that didn't have the volume behind the move. We did 30,000 contracts, you're going into 125,000. Um, that being said, it's like, okay, King Dollar can go up and um, we're at 99.19, 99.89 is probably game. You know, we'll see uh, if it can handle that. Uh, my take is that King Dollar wants to run down to this $94, 94 level. That's how, that's how this seems to be shaken out. Uh, oil market, C L G. What we have with oil, oil closed at lows, has volume behind the move. Um, oil's in trouble, big trouble too. Um, 36.10, we're at 36.01. So you have a, a closing low inside the, uh, the, the market out here. Now, the continuous contract has that high volume swing low at $32.40. But that's almost like too easy saying, oh, that's where it wants to go. It looks to me like it's going to go a lot lower than that. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow finished down 253. NASDAQ off 68. S&P's down 40 bucks. Amazing. We're going to be right back.